Hello and welcome everybody to another StarCraft 2 Cast by Glitch. This today is a very, very special game because it is two players that I just absolutely love. Cole Cats versus E.G. Idra. Spawning here on Taldarim Altar in the top right corner we have, as the Red Zerg, Cole Katz. He is from Complexity Gaming, formerly of Root Gaming, which is now disbanded and merged with uh, Complexity. Katz is a very, very good Zerg player, well known for his very unusual styles. He likes to go for very unorthodox builds and a lot of very strange, uh, very just unorthodox things. Wu is, uh, this is very opposed to the style of his opponent today, the blue Zerg in the top left corner of Taldarim Altar, E.G. Idra, well known for his impeccable mechanics and just solid, solid macro style of play. E.G. Idra took a short break from uh, the StarCraft world for just a little while after uh, he came back from Korea after doing very intense 10 to 12 hour a day training regimes. And uh, he now came back to the States and he was pretty fed up with StarCraft so he uh, took a little break for a while. And he says now that he's come back, he's come back much more relaxed. He's much more willing to do a lot more uh, all-in styles of play. And uh, he was just saying that, yeah, he's, he's, he's changed. He is a changed man now after his break. So uh, I'm actually uh, hoping for a very good game. I downloaded this game. I initially looked at it, and I was like, it's a ZVZ. ZVZs are always, like, maybe eight minutes long just because it's a lot of Ling Banelings going back and forth forever. But uh, not this time. Not this time. I opened this replay file, and... Uh, 22 minutes, I believe, is the count on this video, which means I will need to split it up into two parts, so I will be breaking it here in uh, just a little bit to split it into two parts. But uh, I'm just hoping for an amazing game overall, some really, really good ZVZ play. Now, getting right into the game, both Cats and Idra have gone for a fast expand. Um, so both players are going to be going for a little bit more economic style of a build. Um, for Cats, this is a pretty reasonable idea considering uh, Idra is just the macro style player. Idra will look for every opportunity he can to expand and to build more drones and to uh, better his economy. Both players pretty much on identical builds right now. Both players have exactly uh, the same timed uh, spawning pools as well as gas and expansion. So right now both players are absolutely identical, which is pretty pretty amazing to me that uh, both players of two such different play styles are going for uh, completely identical builds so far. Uh, yeah, if we check out the Harvester count right now, they are exactly even on Harvesters. Both are just about to have their first expansion come up, and uh, both just had their spawning pool pop. Come on, cats. There you go. There's that spawning pool. All right, so, um, yeah, so far we're just going to see a big macro style from uh, both these players. Um, still no deviation. A couple of lings here coming out for Idra. Looks like he's going to try to go out and get some good scouting information. A little bit of a worker transfer that Katz has now scouted. And uh, looks like Katz has now just seen that, wow, they are doing identical builds. The food count is pretty much identical right now. Um, Katz is producing uh, four lings at the moment. Um, I'm not sure uh, if that's because he's planning to do any kind of aggression anytime soon, but both players have, man, they have just completely identical builds. Ling speed just now coming up for both players. Looks like almost exactly timed. Looks like Katz is about five seconds ahead of, uh, Idra's. He's throwing up a spine because he did see a couple of Lings coming out there. Just to be safe, he has thrown down that, uh, spine and got these four Lings. But, uh, I don't think Idra's gonna be pushing for too much pressure, although he is producing four more Lings. Um, this spine crawler will be able to do just to uh, defend against any kind of uh, early ling attacks here. And uh, as is typical in ZVZ, uh, that Zergling Scout that just runs right around the mineral line, this is something that's very commonly done in ZVZ, um, just because Zerglings are just so darn fast, that uh, it, and there's never any wall-offs here, so it's very common in ZVZ to, uh, as early as possible, you want to send that Zergling Scout out and try to get that little run around their base so that you know exactly what they're doing, get those worker counts, because worker count in ZVZ is absolutely critical. A little bit of uh, nice uh, pullbacks there by Katz as their lings engage, and the Zergling Speed 4 Katz has just finished leaving EG Idra's lings in the dust, at least until just now. Now EG Idra's uh, lings have now got the speed of their own. And it uh, looks like he's pulling back. Katz trying to do something to uh, swing around and try to do a behind the back, but Idra, uh, excellent game sense there, managed to just chase for a little while, then pull right back into a nice defensive position here. Now these lings, looks like they are just going to go run around the map. Katz is now doing that Zerg versus Zerg uh, run around the map, as I said, getting that worker count, making sure that there are no tech buildings that uh, he doesn't know about. 
and uh, looks like he's going to be denied from doing any kind of damage here from all these lings by EG Idra. Um, it is worth noting that both players are now getting banelings. Both players got those baneling nests down, and... Uh, both players, well, Katz right now is going for that lair. I don't think Idra is, no, he is not yet making that lair. So, uh, so far, just some defensive banelings, and oh my god, nice baneling there by Katz. Manages to take out a lot of lings off of Idra. Um, so that actually evened out the food count, because uh, Katz had spent some extra uh, money there going into the spine that uh, I don't think Idra made. Oh, no, I'm mistaken. Idra made their really going for identical builds. Uh, both players now getting that layer up, though Katz is considerably ahead of Idra's. Um, Idra is getting that Roach Warren up, and it looks like even the Roach Warrens are pretty similar timed. So uh, since both players know that the other have Banelings, they are now going to just be going uh, for that uh, that Roach style of play that is so common in ZVZ matches. Uh, that queen from Cat's getting a little far out there. It does pick up that Overlord kill. Um, almost got taken out by those Zerglings, but managed to survive for a little while. Um, both players still just continuing to macro up like crazy. Uh, Idra, the macro master, has macroed up to 50 harvesters, uh, while uh, Cat's has is sitting on 47. Not bad, not bad. But in a Zerg versus Zerg where every single uh, unit counts, you want to be very, very careful about how you spend your larva. And in ZVZ, um, every larva that you can spend on drones, even one drone ahead, can make a huge difference in ZVZ matchups. You always want to be looking for spots to get just one or two drones ahead. If you can manage to not produce two lings and produce one drone, whereas your opponent produced an extra set of lings and you can just produce a Bane Ling, from one of your existing lings to defend against his lings, you are now up in economy, and it is those small gains that you can gain over uh, the course of an entire game that can really start to get you the advantage. Speaking of larva, uh, Katz is actually saving up quite a bit of larva right now. He's got a lot of larva. Looks like he's going to be producing some roaches here. He's, uh, he's only got one on the way at the moment. It looks like he did supply block himself, and he was a little mad about it, so he's got four overlords on the way. Um, looks like a macro hatchery has now come down for EG Idra, and he is now producing roaches on the max. A lot of roaches here coming out to the front. Looks like Idra's gearing up to take his third expansion, um, but Katz is doing the same. Katz got a lot of uh, roaches as well. If we check out the unit uh, count right now, we can see that uh, both players are pretty close in roaches. 13 roaches to 12. Ooh, and both players just spawned a bunch. Uh, Katz with 17 roaches. Idra with 16 roaches. Uh, both players have... Uh, three Banelings. Idra's got a, a small group of Zerglings for uh, some scouting, looks like, but uh, they aren't going to make too much of a difference in the fight, as those Roaches are armored and can take quite a bit of damage from those Zerglings. Checking out the uh, the production tab right now, we can see that it looks like Idra might be going for a plus one timing attack here, as his plus one attack is about to finish, and... Uh, uh, Katz has, has just started, so he's still a ways away from having that plus one attack upgrade, though it looks like Katz is going to be going for that early aggression. Again, checking out that uh, unit count, looks like the uh, roaches right now are 26 to 26. This means that Idra is going to have quite a big advantage as he does have that plus one. That plus one does uh, a, makes a big deal in ZBZ, and oh, Katz forces a cancel on EG Idra's hatch, and uh, Katz is almost done, so that is going to be a major loss there. For cats, cats did send a couple of roaches back there to, to slow down the roaches of Idra, and in the meantime, uh, cats is just going to be running away here. Both players do have that roach speed, so they aren't going to be uh, getting too far ahead. I believe both players have that roach speed. It looks, yeah, it looks like both players are on the roach speed right now, and cats just pulling back. Looks like he's going to go for that defender's advantage. This is a very critically important thing in ZBZ. You always want to uh, defend because. Uh, of your, you're so close to your production. If you're defending, you can have quite a bit of an advantage just because you are producing units right there, rather than having that slow stream of one unit or two units at a time coming in small groups. You are producing a lot of units, and they are all just being rallied directly to the fight, and they get there quick. So uh, it's definitely a position you want to be in. Looks like Idra's going to try to go for a t an attack on the third, and we will see if he can do that damage in just a moment because we need to split this uh, up into uh, two parts. So uh, part two in just a moment, guys.